going on YouTube? We're going to make something called slow cooker combo. This dessert is so good, so simple, yet it's easy. So I want to show you guys how to do that with just a few simple ingredients. Dark brown brown sugar, because we like dark brown and we like sugar. Okay. Okay. Regular boring stuff. We like the uncommon stuff. So let's get into it. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. We're gonna make something called slow cooker combo. This dessert is so good, so simple, yet it's easy. So, I wanna show you guys how to do that with just a few simple ingredients. White cake mix, stick of butter, unsalted or salted, dark brown brown sugar, because we like dark brown, and we like sugar, okay? Okay. Cinnamon, it's totally up to you for the next. I prefer sliced peaches and heavy syrup because it's gonna be a fruity dessert. That's what I think of when I think of slow cooker cobbler. Peach. You can substitute whatever type of fruit that you like. Just keep in mind that you will need a good amount of the juice that it comes in, whether it's juice, syrup, whatever. You still need to make sure that you have a good amount of juice because the cake mix is going to start to take up a little bit of that moisture. Oh, cannot forget one of the most important things that you need for this. A slow cooker. <laughs> Don't forget the slow cooker. We need that. Without the slow cooker, all we would have is just regular cop. Regular is boring, so we like the uncommon stuff. First things first, we wanna make sure we open our canned peaches, put them in the bottom of the slow cooker. I include the juice because again, like I said, we're gonna need that for our sauce, right? And in this instance, this should do it. Just this one can. I do add some cinnamon. I want to make sure that my dish is reminiscent of the way I want it to taste. Add a thin layer of cinnamon. Now you could also cut these peaches up. I am only going to break certain ones up. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just sample syrup because sometimes the syrup can be altered by the taste of the peaches depending on how ripe they are. We want it to caramelize a little bit. So we're gonna add a little bit of brown sugar on this layer. And I'm gonna lightly layer it. Probably about a half a cup at most. A little chunky. That's how we like it anyway. A little chunky. Figure a lot of the same salad. So we go. Let's just a little bit. And it's already looking pretty damn delicious. Yeah? I think so. It's already creating a little bit of a slurry. And that's what I like. Mmm. Fan fucking taste. Next step. We're gonna put the cake mix right on top. No egg, no nothing. Just cake mix. You wanna kinda distribute it as evenly as you can. I'm gonna pack it down a little bit later. Now we're gonna take our butter. Just kind of slice it. It doesn't have to be uniform. 
I'm gonna do about a half a stick. This is salted butter. One because I'm almost done with this stick. And we're just gonna use what we got, right? Exactly. Y'all get it. And we're gonna arrange the butter in the crock uniformly. Place it. I'm a little extra. We're gonna put a little more cinnamon on top. I'm gonna to add a little bit of brown sugar again. I'm gonna actually measure it this time. We're gonna do a tablespoon. One tablespoon. So I can measure it anything. Not a level tablespoon. It's more of a heap. Says this crock pot is programmable. We're gonna set it to manual on high, hit enter, and let it cook. Keep the lid on. We'll check on it in two hours to see how it's going. Alexa, set a timer for two hours. Two hours, starting now. Boom, we're gonna check back on it in two hours. See you soon. Two hours later. Alexa, turn off the timer. After two hours, we're back to check on it. Let's see what we got. Ooh. It's looking steamy, smelling good. Mmm. Y'all hear that bubbling? Mmm. See that? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's so good. So as you can see, it has started to rise a little bit, but I want to allow the crust, quote unquote, which is the cake mix, I want to allow that to brown just a little bit more. Alexa, set a timer for 40 minutes. 40 minutes, starting now. So we're going to leave it on for another 40 or so minutes on high because I want this to brown just a little bit, just so that it's not as doughy. It's a little doughy in my opinion, and we want to make sure that thing is right, but it still tastes amazing. Let me get a little, another little hit. Mm, it's hot. Mm. Another tip. Once you're cooking this, go ahead and just leave the top on. I would definitely suggest not consistently opening the top because you want to make sure that the heat is kept inside because that's how you cook it. And that's how it's going to make sure that it gets done all the way. So we'll check back on it 
in about 40 minutes. And we are back 40 minutes later. Ooh, it's looking good. Alexa, turn off the timer. Steam is coming out of this little vent hole here. I'm willing to bet this bad boy is nice and caramelized like we want it to be. Ooh-wee! Hey, hey. See that? Now it's looking crust-like. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we can actually turn this off and allow it to sit. I'm not gonna take a taste of it right now because I got a cough drop in my mouth. Doing a little bit of self-care, washing my mug. You know how it go. Self-care video coming soon. But yes, this is looking very good. See that? Mm, mm, mm. See that caramelization? All right, one taste. Mmm. Turn the power off and restore the top. And then we'll be ready to plate. Stay tuned. Don't they look good? Mmm. So if we're looking for that midnight snack. The boat and beat us to it. Ugh, that's okay. We're gonna still get into it. Hold on. Mm. It's all moist and stuff. Yum. Up. Bruh, it's hot. You know what that mean, don't you? A little bit of this. With a little bit of this. Life. You know what time it is. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I'm about to fuck it up. Happy vlog. Hey!